Hey YouTube, Mr. Sinister is back, and as you can see, some things have changed around here. We finally have our face cam up and running. We figured as long as we have it, let's utilize it for something special. Everyone that's ever played video games will tell you there's a franchise they hold near and dear to their hearts. Maybe it's nostalgia, but you keep playing each new entry in the series because you get that same feeling you had from when you were a kid. For me, one of those series is Resident Evil. The first time I walked through the doors of the Spencer Mansion, I felt like I was somehow watching and living the experiences of Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. I've played through every Resident Evil game that's ever been put out, even as the series started to feel more like an action movie than a survival horror experience. And when Capcom released Resident Evil 7, they changed my perspective on what survival horror could be once again. Today, they've released Resident Evil Village, the direct follow-up to Resident Evil 7, and I couldn't think of a better game to do our first ever playthrough for. We've never done a video like this, so if you've seen some of our other content, just know that this is going to be a bit different. We're going to have some hiccups. Uh, one of the things I can already tell you in the future is we'll probably tune up our microphone a little bit more. We'll do some fine tuning with our face cam as well. I'm going to forewarn you that there will be spoilers, so if you're thinking of playing the game and you want to skip through some of the cutscenes, I completely understand. Guys, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more Mr. Shinister content, and we'll see you in the next one. Enjoy. sound effects. strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled mother's scary bedtime tales and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful, golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Different opening. What Gifts we gave, before. but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind, Mom. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. 
Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Oh, I'm gonna need to change the sensitivity a little bit. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Kids run right at the top of the stairs. Almost there, honey. Yeah. Yeah, bingo. Well, that's too big of a bed for her. Ah, oh, boom. All right. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. This isn't really my family, I suppose. I wish it could stay like this forever. Who even has picture books like this? It's weird. I think, right? Yeah, in this room. Oh, nice little bathroom. Huh. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Everyone's forgotten about this already. One of those. 
those guys. Alright. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mmm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> you really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? <gasps> it no, happened no, so no, now. No. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia, get down. Mia! God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Secure, sir. Take him away. I said, get your hands off her! Ethan, no. I <laughs> like what they've done to Chris's character, but. Oh, Rose. Get him out of here. Hey, if you're gonna waste him, you know, might as well waste the whole family. Seems kind of. stories, you know. <laughs> Some without remorse vibes. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine, I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just- Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the ground to walk over. Fuck. What the hell happened here?
This is wild. Stepping on. What did all this? What 
Maybe, maybe they're out? Yeah, that's what it is. What happened? No, no, Jesus. Too friendly. Too friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? 
What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Dead body? Wait, there's more. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with this place? What the hell? My knife out. My photo. Note. Wait, can't use that. Yeah, of course I can't use that.
Is it over? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my to Louisa's house near the fields. Survivors? To Louisa's house, my house. Interesting. the wrong choice. Yeah, that was a bad decision. Oh my god, pick up the shotgun. Okay. I thought this was the way out. No. Oh, God. Get the fuck out of this.
fire, man. Holy shit. in death we give glory uh hello you shouldn't be out here it's not safe what the hell hey can you hear me uh, it's you the child's father child hey wait do you mean rose is she here <laughs> rose rose yes she is in great danger since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> <laughs> 